It's almost there. Stay right there. Stay right there. Stay right there. Don't call me white girl. That's so real. It's gay folks. Unpopular opinion. Jail's not that bad. Boom. Pop your shit open and grab that nigga by the head and get the. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's something about them whispering in my ear the whole name thing. I like that. I like a nigga to whisper. Who's your cash? <laughs> that's what's different. And that's why, statistically, number wise, not only do we not get the same amount of riches as them, we do not keep it. Nowhere mm. near how long they'll keep it. Hello, and we're back. Don't call me white girl. Formerly known as Don't Call Me White Girls, L.A. Mona. You already know the vibes. Right now, I'm hanging up on a nigga that still has my number, but it's lit <laughs> to the left of me. We got Phelps Hugo, my backpack. What's up, boy? It's tired, man. L.A. L.A. It's whooping our ass at yeah. this point. <laughs> Feet the ass. Bro, I got on the flight at 6.15 a.m., and I got to L.A. at 8.40 a.m. I wish we could do the sound effect. That sounds mm-hmm. sound, Twilight Zone. That sounds that sound amazing. Quick. I was on that motherfucker plane for 10 hours. No way. That sounds and amazing. it was like a jet blue joint, so I had to sit up like this. Oh. And I sat next to a white woman that went out her way of telling me every black relative she has. Well, we have Heather, and she has a little bit of black because her grandfather's had black. But my granddaughter has Colombian in her. And my neighbor, she's a quarter black as well. She did Ancestry.com. Hear that silent awkwardness? That was the plane ride. I thought she was a racist. <laughs> Woo hold, hold on. When you told Gary that, what did Gary tell you to do? <laughs> I said, Gary, she won't stop talking to me. Because it was me, Klansman, Gary. I text Gary. I said, she won't stop talking to me. And Gary said, close your eyes. Guess what I do, Gary? What I do? Close them. Night, night, nigga. Um, I don't know. Let's address the elephant in the room. It's a new fancy girl here with Chanel sneaks on. Hi. Hello there. Miss Million. Okay. Listen. Introduce yourself to the people. Um, I'm Azar Faraday. Say the whole name. L.A., born and raised. And I'm just a real cool girl. Okay? The internet thinks I'm masculine, aggressive. <laughs> she is lying. And just, they <laughs> ran me Not through the, the internet. Mud. The trolls think that Okay, they have ran me through the mud. They came to me saying, niggas have came to me wanting to see if I want to fuck. Well, I, I did a poll about you before I did this. And they asked me to check to see if she was a man. I touched her kitty cat. It's a regular cat. <laughs> she touched it, and it's a real one. Because you know the new cats. No shade to the girls that get the new cats, because clearly you have a couple dollars. They are like baseball gloves. They're you fat seen one? cats. I've seen several. I've seen one in prison. I did fed time, so I was in jail with a lot of trans women that got their money for their transition. Because that's, you know, for real, let's get into it. Okay, yes. There is not funding for trans people. It's not a damn sure not yeah. enough funding. So if you're a kid that, let's say you are a trans woman and you're 13, 14, you hate this thing in between your legs, it's a good possibility that you'll end up 30 with the same thing in between your legs if you're not, you know, can't get some of the resources to get yeah. it, to get your transition. You know what I mean? And okay. it's really sick because it's real deal. Clearly, we got bathrooms that are for everybody. It's in schools, mm-hmm. whatever. Um, I think... That the Dwayne Wade situation helped a little bit too, getting inside of that. I wasn't against none of that. I wasn't, you know, I just, you know, everybody already knows how I feel about it. Mm-hmm. But um, trans women are still murdered more than anybody. They die every couple minutes. You know what I mean? It's a super Damn. amount of, huge amount of violence for trans women. And um, they need, it needs to be funding for the trans people. So I said it. Get it done, Biden. Get it done. So the cats, they were nice, though? Did they look good? Because I'm curious trouble? about you the cats. Answer. They look great. <laughs> <laughs> I, was in, I, was okay. with, I think I told the story already because we did a volleyball tournament. And I was Come the on, camera woman. Yeah, we're not doing this again. And, um, we're not doing this again. The we're trans woman this. I was in jail with, she was from Ohio. She was about 6'4". Um, very dainty, very ladylike. But when we played volleyball... <laughs> Sportsman, you hear what I'm saying? Ah! Being I was the camera woman, I'm catching all these shots, uh, and we played like nuns. She was spiking balls in nuns' faces. Bop! Did you, Get out of here, Sister Mary did you, Clarence. Did you see the? Did you see the trans MMA fighter that trashed the girl? Yeah, and then was like the yeah. base came out. That was wild. Yeah, I had mixed feelings about the sports vibe, but I will say, in my eyeballs, seeing it. Bunch of overweight bitches in jail that don't have, we're not in shape. It's not even a yard where I was, right? She was kicking ass on that motherfucker. I mean, she stood out. She was definitely MVP on both sides. You hear what I'm saying? 
But I seen her cat. I seen it. I mean, the, the things that they do to create it, it's just, it, to me, it looks like a cat, a bigger cat. Okay. Swollen. Meaty. So you know what I mean? Good. They like, men say they like a fat, juicy cat. I mean, that's what they do. You know, I have back problems because of the size of my cat. I wanted to get a cat reduction. I like the cat. I had lipo in my. I like the cat. cat to be original. How about that? You want okay to see scratch that out. I don't want nobody. Um, <laughs> no, the coochie is fat. I lost a hundred pounds some years ago. I don't want to talk about it. It's not a big deal. I'm not worried about it. I lost hundred pounds, gained all that. Um, but the coochie was so. I'm like boxing glove. Hide this thing. It's huge after. Oh, no. <laughs> I lost a hundred pounds too, and yeah. my shit was huge. I had to lipo my shit out. So you got your cat lipo. I did, and I'm willing to admit it. So oh, now you my. got a skinny cat. It's still fat, and How's that's that what scares working? me. Oh, no, it's, still it's fat. fat still. Is it fat at the top part? What is that top part called? Because men have those part of their pussy, too. I call oh, that a man pelvis? Pussy. Is it a pelvis? No, you know how that part, <laughs> right before the dick starts, it's like a diamond shape? Yeah, it's right here. And I don't know about is you, a, but I fucked a guy, a fat guy, so it's like a fat I pussy at the top, and then the penis hangs <laughs> out the bottom, like an elephant truck. <laughs> but, but I always say, like, I'll say, oh, babe, your pussy, or let me shave your pussy. And what do they say? They it's say me. you could say stop playing, bro. Pause, but they let me do it. I'm and I wax you, all my men. I wax, not shave. I'm a wax. Mona, you shave or not? If I don't wax you, I'll nair you. That's my really number one. I will nair a nigga quick. So you like a bald cat? Yeah, and then I'm Muslim by faith. We're supposed to remove our hair every thirty days, every piece of hair off you. So it's totally typical for a forty year old Muslim man to have no hair on his penis, none. And honestly, no hair to no hair. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I'm telling you, to fucking change your life. My skin to skin shiny, wet. Are you crazy? Ball to ball, no spikes. Day one, crazy. Come <laughs> <laughs> on, that. all, that's fucking right. I fuck one of them. Are y'all ready? If y'all on that, I used to be mad it when my ex would shave his cat because I'll be like, "Where are you going? Like, why you have to shave the cat to go so out?" So that's not a requirement for your no, because to me, to be shaved. I don't think it is. So you one, do bush? You sucking dick off a of bush? <laughs> This is the thing. If it's no, I ain't listen. Okay. If it's clean, I need a hygiene. Like I need the hygiene to be right. You need a but I would for that fro. That's gross. I would suck a like a furry dick. But if it starts to get rough and it's this is going crazy, but let's get all the way into it. You know what's crazy? Sometimes men will grow hair on the actual dick, the shaft, and that's painful for me. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So you, you wax it? the dick on if the it's whole hairy? dick. Sometimes, okay. Mona, what? Here's the dick. You fucking with that? Here's the you dick. Wax the and dick. It's, it's me. Come on, bro. It I is. could damn put this nigga in the wig with my. Just let me ass. know. I could leave and come back. <laughs> Look. So listen. This is this. the shape of the man pussy I don't part, have right? To. Yeah, we and have then that it's the too. Dick. But at the top of the dick, to like right here, sometimes guys grow hair off their dick. I've seen that. That hurts my vagina. Is what I'm saying. That's all I wanted to put out there. Okay. That, the hair off of the penis is painful. And a lot. Of, I'm helping so many women because there's so many women that are like, why is it so uncomfortable? It's the hair. It's 4C. We black. Get that nigga a perm or get that hair up off that penis. There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> my grandmother taught me that. I was probably 11. She was like, you had sex with somebody, you cut the light on. You look at that thing. What's this? Yeah. That's a birthmark. How long you had it? Pinch it. Squeeze it. I like that because it's a lot of shit that's going around. So I like to examine the dick. The opposite of Tenny Pendergrass. He said, turn off the lights. Turn them on. But I need them off when I start fucking. Look at that dick. You do. I do. Yeah. I feel it. I look at it. Can I be honest with you right now? Yeah. I still wear a cami. I'm a cami fucker. Like, I can't get naked. And I Even when you. I was skinny, I'm wearing a shirt, bro. I'm going to put my titties off the side of this white beard. I'm going to get crazy. I love pulling the titties off the side. When I pull these tits Listen. out with that little triangle white beater left there, and you grab that motherfucker and ride me like a horse. This is getting wild. <laughs> Let's move on. Thumbs, so are you uncomfortable, babe? I'm fine. Do right. you keep it waxed out there? I didn't do that. Uh, me? I didn't ask you that, babe. The, the audience wants to know. Like, he has a nice red Do you wax hair. it? Honestly, I don't, honestly, I don't he no. has a little, like a little red fro down there. You seen it? Of course. So how is it doing down there? So is it you wax it down there? I don't and shave do no it? waxing. He trims. Mona waxes it. Man, before. man, the manscaper. <laughs> The manscaper. Yeah, a little trim. Okay, you keep it trimmed. Phelps is talented. Yeah. Phelps can even okay. cut his own hair in a state of emergency, and it look good with all the waves. What? Mm. I know you like it. So you him. just trim it yourself. You get up, you trim I it. I can't believe that that's not. Yeah. Let's just move on. We I, Okay. Yeah, I learned a lot about you today. <laughs> um, 
First things first, RIP to the niggas that died in the submarine. You want to take a moment of silence? Yeah. yeah. Not too long. They were billionaires, but. I, I don't like that people joking on them. That shit whack. Yeah, oh, what my God. It's not Because it's, f- it's mad. It's, it, it's the broke mindset. People are like, oh, they... Sp- why you... Because I look at it like this. And, and this and I and I thought, of, not to say that it would have been, but Smush is a Titanic fan. If, Smush... If, and listen, if you was a mil- if you had the money to I would Smush, give Smush $250 to get on something. To go. Like you would have... You Hands down. He loves it. Exactly. So when that's, I tell him what happens, I know his father didn't. He's been at his dad's house. He is going to be crushed. <gasps> So yeah. for me, that's gonna be that, that that was a perspective. I was looking at it like, yo, I literally could have knew somebody that that had happened to. And Do I you know what it really was though? Because if you call it a broke mindset, probably. But to add on, people hate the rich now. Like yeah. though, that white yeah. billionaire guy, nobody mm-hmm. likes him. You know what I mean? Yeah. And the mm-hmm. fact of it being starving, like literally humans in the United States starve from lack of food and nurturing. It's yeah. kids. It's kids that only get meals at school and then they have to mm-hmm. figure yeah. it out until the next day. So when you think about it in that way, oh, you got 250000 So I think that's what it is. Them but, being white billionaires, that's why they don't give But they fuck. were explorers, weren't they? But no, also they bought tickets. Oh. They bought like It's like a little ride. So... D- do you think that it was a conspiracy? You know how I people do said not. that? Nope. Okay. The guy, a white guy that went, another white billionaire guy, went last year. He said, I just went last year. Shit was lit. Mm. What surprised me was, oh. and please correct me if I'm wrong in the comments because y'all will. I saw footage of them discussing the parts of it. It being ran by a PlayStation game controller. It was a piece on it. He was like, I got that from Cabela's. No, I kid you. I'm not joking. I'm the only person that saw that. Did they what? put it together? You saw it too? Yeah. They put it together with like twigs and shit. Mm-hmm. Like shit that was like, you know that junk drawer you got, Dave? Everybody got that one drawer. <laughs> they went in there and locked shit up. Yeah. I mean, you know, I don't know. I don't know if I would even rig my car up. I don't even think I would fuck with my alternator or nothing. I wouldn't trust it. I don't know, but RIP them. It's, you know, it's terrible when people die. Yeah. It's, you know what was weird too? Another agency was on the water as well. I can't remember what they were, what part of government or what did they do, but they heard like a boom or they seen like debris day that. one. Like you niggas couldn't mention that while we was looking for these motherfuckers. Yeah. How many hours of air they got left? Basically from what the reports are saying, as soon as they went down, it fell apart. So they mm. never made it anywhere really. Yeah, that's sick. That's some sick Imagine shit. I wonder who gets in, in trouble for that. Because you know, some of them play, some of those... Let's go all the way now. Amtrak, right? Smush's father works for Amtrak. If they make a mistake and something happens on the train, they go to jail. They only lose their job. They yeah. go to prison for that. So that's why I was just curious. Like, there's nobody in trouble. That- but the owner of the guy who does that was on there, right? What's the company called that sends out those submarines? He was on that submarine. The owner? Yeah, or like the founder. He was one, right? Yeah, he was oh. the founder or something. So he was on there. Yeah. But imagine, what do you think that niggas are doing while they're on there? Imagine you're on a submarine, close mm. quarters, yeah. underwater. Yeah. It went down right when you got down. Yeah. And you have 96 hours before oxygen runs out and you in there. What are you doing? I'll probably try to fuck the people that's in there. That's why I'm wondering. Do you think they fuck? Let's fuck it out. But it was just the I wonder options if they were limited on there. Yeah, because you can't do anything. And it was really, really small. Kill me first. This is my thing. Everything Kill. go well. We go down, we come back up. But what if somebody has gas? Like, imagine being enclosed with that much <laughs> shit smell. Imagine they have to shit. They had to shit and pee in there until t- Did you see the bathroom? Shut down. Crazy. I'm just thinking about farts. Because farts really gross me out. Like, Dutch ovens start fist fights with me. I don't fuck around with no Dutch oven. <laughs> Yeah, we know. I don't where fuck you, around. We know where you. F- <laughs> Excuse me. You said what? I ain't say that. <laughs> so are you farting in front of niggas that you fuck with? I will go out. Let's say it's a okay. deck. You say it's a deck here. Okay. We'll go out. Thomas, look me in my eye. I was spreading my butt cheeks. I let the air out and then I closed my eyes. I butt do cheeks. that too because they say the butt cheeks make the noise because it's I vibrating. And I get the fuck out of there. That's smart. One time. That's smart. Everybody already knows the shampoo thing. When I was trying to get the shampoo out the container, <laughs> he heard that and said I farted in the shower. He's, he's going around LA so Street stupid. saying you farted, Mona. He keeps he saying that. Everyone. I haven't farted since I was seven. Like I'm an adult. <laughs> that's disgusting. My mother told me that somebody close in the family, you know that's why she lost her husband farting all the time around that man. My mother has never <laughs> farted around anybody she's dated. My mother's 50-something. Yeah, Wanda don't look like I have fart. never farted either. But one time, I remember there was a guy, he spent the night, I thought he left, the door closed, and you know how you just... 
Let it out. Because you've been holding that motherfucker for hours, bro. For 10 hours. So I let that shit go. He was like, hello? <laughs> I could never talk like to him men, again. But that's why I don't mean you didn't have to say that. You, know, you couldn't go. You I used left. to have rendezvous with this guy. And we were like, fuck really crazy for three days in a hotel. It was you. But I would shit downstairs with the housekeeper shit. <laughs> they let you in there? They, I broke in there. I got to get it done. Yeah. I got to poop. I can't poop in our room. This episode stink. Azar started the whole thing. I'm sorry. I just. Um, so, yeah, we're kicking off with that. Um, it was all in the blogs or whatever because um, my girl Jess, Jess Hilarious, she's on the Breakfast Club. Shout and out to Jess. Shout out to Jess. She made a joke about Summer Walker running down on somebody in their DMs. Mm-hmm. And she was basically saying that she shouldn't have done it. Um, she's saying he cheats anyway. And she mentioned Michi stinking. Um, I don't know if y'all know, but it was like this weird rumor about Lil Meech thinking. I don't even think, and it's so crazy because not often do you see rumors start, but I watched it because there's a girl that got online. It would be a Philly bitch. Uh, Some Philly bitch gets online. I was just standing next to this nigga in the club. He smelled just like underarm, smelled like onion, smelled like Ishkabir. He smelled like a whole new extra onion. That boy don't stink. Maybe you caught him on a bad day, but he don't stink. He's so handsome. Free your father. You need any support with that? (laughs) Psych, free your dad, um, free Big Meech. But no, um, for the most part, the first it's a joke. Like, yeah. I hate that you can't crack a joke now. Summer Walker was super offended, and so was he. They both clapped back, said Jess was missing the chromosome. She's a man for real. She's ugly. And Meech, he did, like, the unthinkable. He what? screenshot the DMs because she had slid in his DMs a couple times. I don't know if she slid in on some trying to holler at him shit, but she basically was, like, saying how she was proud of him. And then the next message that was months later was, like, are you... Are you local, nigga? You around? Because <laughs> I am. <laughs> so summer whole thing was like, you wanted him, you going to say, how you going to say he stink when you wanted him, bitch? Let's go all the way around to the beginning. Everything was just was saying about you never sliding DMs or whatever. <laughs> I will DM your mom, nigga. Let me tell you something. I went through, with, I went through something with a bitch last summer, Azar. And I FaceTimed that bitch. And guess what she said? What? Oh, my God, it's don't call me white girl. Stay at the top of your hand. Where's my man at? Is he over there? Yeah. <laughs> I still come back here. Soon so as they, they I cheat. Their bitches get is fans of you. Home. I'm sorry. Are they fans of you? I don't know if like, she was a fan. Happen? I don't know if she was a fan, but she was shocked that it was me. So half of me was like, oh, I'm, I respect that he never they said never that my ex is whatever. But at the uh, same time, bitch, I'm trying to fight. Yeah. I called you to set up the fight. You talking about some don't call yeah. me white girl ass bullshit. Where's my nigga at? He in the bathroom. Walk the phone to the bathroom. And she did it? He home, ain't he? She walked it? She walked it. Ooh. Don't call me white girl. She walked it, baby. Ain't no shame. I don't got no shame, no pride, none of that shit. So, yeah, I don't know. I felt something. I would have did the same thing. The girl that was posting Michi was corny as shit. Um, and I also like what Summer said. She was like, look, I didn't want to go public with my relationship. I was going on dates with Ski Mask. Y'all was zooming in, <laughs> looking at my hair. That's real. They, they exposed their relationship off a of reflection of her in, like, the paint of the car. In the okay. Lambo, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. and then it was like she went to the club and she had the Ski Mask and they recognized her from the body. But mm-hmm. it's like, y'all press and press and I didn't want to go public. Now I'm public and y'all going to keep picking the shit apart. Some girl is out there with security chilling, his chain there. Can I take a picture on his chain? She takes a picture. She posts it. It looks like you have his chain on. So when Summer, you know, she's like, what's up? What's up with it? And the girl's like, oh, it was nothing like that. But so why'd you, why'd you post it? Mm-hmm. That's where we at today. Side bitches are so out of whack that they making bitches move weird. That's not even side bitch. You're not even side bitch. You fucking security. Why you ain't asked to wear his goddamn earpiece? Is the security fired after that? Like I don't you get it down with that? I like, feel like he must have been around Michi because he, he the way he was saying it was like I said it was cool, da da da. But he never met the girl. He was like outside of the car. Yeah, the whole thing was corny. And the girl and then the girl's like, "Po, it's just a mess. It's trifling. I don't know." Um... I just feel like it's a joke. It's not that serious. You know what I mean? I mean, I wouldn't think it was a joke, but it's a comedian. Y'all keep wanting to pick, pick, pick at comedians. A comedian is going to go with you. Y'all going to be doing that for a while. If I'm not mistaken, I think Jess's response was him responding to me. I could tell he's stinkier than I thought he was. Or something like that. She's going to keep perpetuating that. So, yeah, boom, boom, boom. Um, the B2, I was in L.A. for the BET Awards. That was lit. Oh, my God. I was in the media house. How was that, Phelps? Pretty cool. Did you like it? Yeah, I have fun. Favorite interview? Uh, well, let me say this. 
We kicked that shit off with a Big Daddy Kane joint. Legends. Yeah. Our first interview was with Big Daddy Kane. I wanted to get up and like, like do some old My school favorite. shit. Favorite. I had a, I don't know. I liked I liked a lot of them. I like Big Daddy King. That was great. Um, Nineteen Keys was good. Yeah, Nineteen Keys was a good joint. Shout out to Nineteen Tory Keys. Tori Bricks was good. Yeah, shout out to Tori. She's beautiful. Um, she is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but those, you don't have a favor exactly. Maybe I maybe like, yeah. I like yeah. those. Those three. My yeah. favorite ones. Yeah, and it was the. Uh, Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Puda. Oh, yeah. Shout, shout out Puda. Shout out to Puda from Orange, Texas. From Orange, Texas. Okay. okay. Um, what was I going to say? They celebrated Busta Rhymes long overdue. I feel like Busta Rhymes is such a legend, not only because of the music and how he contributes to, you know, his contributions to hip-hop, but Busta Rhymes is a performer. And with hip-hop, it's real easy to just... I mean, for the love of God, 50 had a luxurious, amazing career, and all he did was... I mean, 50 had two moves on stage. Walk up. That's it. Nothing. You know, mm-hmm. so it's, I, I think it's always been refreshing because Busta Rhymes comes with 100% energy on every show. You know what I mean? I fuck with Busta. I went to like a, um, an underground rap show. Where it was, um, where the fuck was it at? Um, what's the small shit in New York? It's called like Sunny Hall or something? Syracuse. Sony, yeah, Sony Music Hall. It's like a little small joint. You said Syracuse. I said Syracuse. Though. I thought we were talking and about it was like, you feel me, like the Tim, Tim's and Leather Jackets in there. You feel me, type rap. Mm-hmm. And nigga, he used to rap with Busta back in the day. And this nigga brought Busta out. And Busta came out on some like That's crazy. non-type, you feel, and turned it up out of nowhere. It was That's tough. insane. Yeah. yeah, I remember watching Busta live at Fairmont Park in Philadelphia and him Killing it, and then Rodiga came out, and everybody left. So he came back out, and the people started to just sit down. My niggas Shout out to Rodiga, but yeah, we we bust the fans, we hip hop fans. Y'all already know how it is with us. Speaking of hip hop, speaking of rap, that boy dropped. <laughs> you already know what he did. Shout out mm-hmm. to Young Thug, Free Thugger. Thugger releases album, and it's a banger all the way through. No skips. You already know how the big slime do. And I don't know. The vibe I got was we can't fuck with that boy. That boy that be gliding on shit. But we ain't gonna talk about that. I think I might gotta take it out of rotation. He knew what he was doing. You think that's purpose that he dropped right after? He said it. He said he would. He said purpose. He dropped mine the same day he dropped his. And what he got? Drake feature, Savage. Mm -hmm. I was I be I was looking at how um Thug didn't drop his album under YSL. Hmm. He didn't. It dropped under three hundred. It said three hundred and I, like Universal. Yeah. But Gunna album dropped under YSL. So like I love the thought that it puts doing. money in thugger pockets. Yeah. I love that. Like if that's the thing, I think that and that's I think told, that's what it is. And that was told y'all saw the references with Drake saying uh, you owe me one and him saying I'm gonna pay you or and whatever. That's all a joke. It goes together with the song. Yeah. It's just promo. Yeah. yeah. Um. But yeah, of course, free thugger and f- more nigga news. Free Boosie badass. That's horrible. Did I talk about that Oh, already? yeah, 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 yeah. Did yeah, I say what yeah, he did? Yeah. What did he do? Well, they, they caught him in the video with the strap. He Wait, literally, what? he had a pistol in his back, and he's in the background of somebody else's video, and they tag him. And I don't know if he shared it or not, but the feds was there waiting for him when he gets out. And he went to jail. Because he's a felon. He can't carry a pistol. That's a horrible way to go out. Oh, The my next God. part of that news is that the prosecution is okay with the bail. Of course, the defense is okay with the Judge. bail. Literally are not comfortable with him getting the bail, so he's asking people to come out and, and protest. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy how they do rappers once they get them. And the thing about Boosie, I don't think people understand Boosie be homicides. Like he's yeah. not somebody with a jacket of like it's drug like possession. Yeah. yeah, he got attempts and shit like that. Boosie came a long way. I hate to see anybody go through, especially a black man. The, he was in jail for one day and he put his car for sale on the gram. You know it's real when they get to selling shit. Mm. Damn. And, and I'm, now I'm gonna take that back. Every street guy I knew, not calling him a street guy, they would buy stuff with that in mind. This is money. I can look with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I yeah. can sell this chain. I can do this. I can do that. So I don't think people selling stuff means you fucked up because sometimes a person just buy stuff knowing <laughs> that motherfucker go first. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I never understood the whole you rich you because I remember Cardi had crazy cars and Cardi didn't have a driver's license. Never didn't know how to drive yet, but she owns these vehicles. That's crazy to me. She just put them on her Insta store. They're literally collecting dust. Brand new, beautiful cars and in her co- garage. Even though um, Dusty. them cars be exotic, depend- certain ones be more limited than we know. You feel me? So yeah. sometimes you might. I got a car a that only one. came out that one year. It's only yeah. thirty of them. But not knowing how to drive, babe. I mean, I could see having one maybe. She's from New York, or, maybe or something. New York yeah. But she, um, 
she was like, I got to learn how to drive. I mean, listen, you do what you want with your money. I just, you know, I don't know. Um, I'm a car lover, so I'm a no, um, I, I'm a car lover, so I'm probably going to have a thousand cars myself. I'm not going to front. Um, shout out to the girl I've been roasting on Instagram for like yeah, four days. Yeah, that's been going up. <laughs> you know you get a shout out, Jersey girl. Brooklyn. Ooh, that's been going up. Before this is over with, real quick, this is Jersey walking in. Get it? <laughs> the bitch got beat. <laughs> <laughs> I am done. Um, for the people at home, my listeners, I hope y'all don't think I forget about you because I love y'all. Y'all make this ship sail, you know, and not sink. But I bump. Submarine joke. Um, I appreciate y'all and I love y'all at home. I really do. If you do want to see, make a fake page and get on Instagram and watch me roast one of your cousins. I got a really good it's three or four posts every up before I delete it, before they delete me. Um, moving on. I told y'all to watch The Curious Case of Natalia Grace. I don't think, I don't know if you've ever seen it. I haven't. Crazy, crazy documentary. It's really good. I'm sure y'all watched it by now. It is, I guess, the real orphan because <laughs> she's adopted and she's supposed to be three or four. And this nigga's 40 years old. Like, she come in <laughs> smoking Marlboro's, <laughs> masturbating. That shit no. was crazy. It's a great story. I think the best part of the story for me is the flip. Because it's, it's kind of shot in the eyes of the parents and the family and how hard it was with the little girl. But by the end, they flip when they figure out her age and blah, blah, blah. Because at one point, she goes to court and they age her out. She goes to court and she's probably 9 or 10. And they age her out to be like 17 or 18. They put this nigga in an apartment. And she was just randomly knocking on everybody's door. You got a honey bun? And then they put her out of the apartments. What was really funny about Wait her, it's a lot. What was really funny about Natalia was that she was so horny. And she was so little, she would try to fuck kids. So I don't know if she was a molester or she knew she couldn't get a delt dick because she was this big. So yeah. she would be sitting next to the kids, grinding up on them at the park. And the parents would be going crazy because you got this muscle-bound, <laughs> wide-shoulder-ass toddler. Like, you big as shit. Wait a minute. So she was really older, though. As like, she just looks. If I adopted her. I probably would have two piece that bitch. After the second time you talking to me like we the same age, bitch, we about to rumble. I'm gonna get on my knees and we're gonna get this shit over with. I told you sit the fuck down, Natalia. Matter of fact, I'm gonna take you in there with them people. Walk in there with a limp. I mean, literally, this You know no. they top heavy, but you know the smaller people be having that. Yeah, that's to their back, wide back, wide. Yes. From Poland, don't speak no Polish. Bitch, you from Hobo. <laughs> get the fuck out of my house. And she was humping on children at the park? Some, some, according to the parents, she's standing up in the middle of her room four in the morning. Why are you up? Because I'm going to kill y'all when y'all go to sleep. <laughs> no, she got to go. I'm sorry. Did, oh, she's I'm not that. dealing with that. Didn't you say um, she was she was throwing her uh, period shit out the window? When she first, this is how it happens. This, this is why. <laughs> when I tell you that this little white family, when I tell you that I was like flabbergasted at how stupid they were acting. They didn't really want a kid, granted. I know it's hard when you're trying to have a baby, you can't. But the adoption agency calls you and says, we got a kid for you, but you have 24 hours to get here. They put you in a room, leave in the room for hours. You hear somebody come in, which was the last family that put this little bitch out. They throw her bag to the door, speed off, and they rush this little midget that looks like a fucking man that's supposed to be three. Come on, nigga. Guess what I would have did? Hey, let me go grab my uh, debit card real quick. And I would have spent on them niggas. <laughs> I don't care if I already paid half of it. I'm not coming back. I don't yeah, want it. Yeah, I'm good. What are we talking about? Where's the daisies and bowls in this nigga here? She <laughs> smells like Marlboro's. This ain't no fucking kid. It's a girl, and it, but it... <laughs> I smell Stella Rose on this bitch. She not staying. <laughs> so, boom, they leave. They get home. Of course, they shower her. The husband says, I hear a shriek out of the bathroom. The husband is so dramatic. Shout out to the husband. You are a drama queen, and I'm fucking here for it. He said, the loudest shriek I ever heard from the bathroom. And, of course, when I went in, she had a bush. The wife wiped her off. She had a fucking fro. Wait a minute, Mona, please. I got to go. The fro's you like. She had. (laughs) It wasn't 4C because she white. It was straight, long, black, thick, Polish fro. Ew. So what was... And then when they reported when they got to their house, they would find out the window, like, socks. She would use socks instead of a a pad or a tampon, and then she would throw it out the window because I can't have these niggas knowing my period. I'm on birth control. I don't want to see the package. I'm a (laughs) grown-ass woman. Please don't take any of this serious because my ADD act up and I kept, like, clocking in and out of it, so I could be wrong. But towards the end, the parents were about to get in trouble for, like, abandonment because at one point, once they get to the apartment, they would go to Walmart and get, like, all processed food, oodles and noodles, honey buns and shit, and they would take the bag and just throw it, kick the door, and run. <laughs> but why couldn't they just say, I'm no longer interested in this arrangement? 
That's what I, you know, like, you are mature. Because that, that could have been an option. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm, the moment you say you about to kill me and everyone else, you have got, I'm dropping you off. They I'm throwing that back. Though. Yeah, that's the thing. It but was a 24 the hour adoption. Get to do that. You feel me? It's this, a way. I this can't my thing. do it. You going to take this bitch back? I'm going to take it. She's going to go back to Jesus. <laughs> Something's going to happen because of my life. If it's I'm me and you, bitch, and you three foot, I don't know if you're going to make it. I'm five seven, nigga. <laughs> you in my house. So the, I thought it was a intruder. I thought it was a little intruder. Mona, please tell me. I put a ski me. mask on this bitch after and stomped out. Mona, the dad said. This bitch had a ski mask. So I ain't know it was my new daughter. She like to play. She like to play cops and robbers. She always a robber. Always want to be the robber. I done chopped this bitch by mistake. Mona, so just say this. The dad went in there and said it was so a disgusted. book. Are you all right, Dave? Are you good? I'm all right. I'm just trying to Dave get you is... through it. So it's just gonna get worse. Tell me this one more time. The dad said she had a bush. Now, the mother shrieked from the bush, and when the father went in, it was a bush. <laughs> but towards the end, they start telling from the kid's side, alleged. And at this point, she's a grown up. She's head, here now. Tell head me. Head big as a motherfucker. I'm talking about that child's head gained. Her head doubled in size by the time she made it to 20. That was enough. I can't even put a sweater on this bitch. <laughs> I had this little girl for two years. I can't. She don't fit children's place or nothing. Come get her. <laughs> I didn't feel bad at all. Send this nigga back. She tough. They should have put her in a special limit because that motherfucker's strong. <laughs> So what was her Come side of the story? Natalia. She said that they were abusing her. She said the mother would sit on her chest and beat the shit out of her. The husband said it too. The husband said he would come. They, the husband said that she would put Natalia in the corner while she so she urinated or defecated herself. They were abusing her. But this was after Natalia was doing this and that. Yeah. I think at the end of the day they had this dream of this pretty blonde, cute, mm-hmm. perfect little kid, and they didn't get there. But why would they take her home when they saw that that wasn't given? That this is my thing. The cutest kids get adopted first. Yeah, they do. You know what I mean? Yeah, she got picked over a lot. She wasn't cute. She like her father. That's an ugly ass child. Grown child, whatever. Ugly. Get God her bless on the her. Podcast. Come on Get Come her on, on the pod. <laughs> Natalia. Come on. Come on. Yeah, we, you know, whatever you want to call that. Um, <laughs> what the fuck did I want to talk to y'all about? Um, did I talk? Oh. <laughs> Baddies East auditions. Let down, um, hurt, shame, <laughs> sadness. That's what comes to mind. I was so embarrassed to be an East Coast girl. Y'all bitches went up there with your tampon strings out, your bonnet with the grease stain. It's one thing to wear a bonnet, new, bundles new. You wearing your nasty bonnet to the auditions. <laughs> it was so many, so many girls that I knew or knew of went to the auditions. And they were like, yo, I've seen 14 fights. And they didn't even get in the line, like all the way in the line. Just fights outside. These bitches just scrapping like pit bulls. They just oh rap, They just God. wrecking shit. My thing is, do you see a camera, Shaquita? Why the fuck are you swinging on this girl? Yeah. It's always a joke to me because I, at this point, Zeus is infamous for, and I know this because when they did Bad Boys, they did auditions, and all those little boys that did those auditions, fighting, all yeah. the same thing, fucking sucking, whatever, embarrassing oh. your parents. Um, they were DMing me. They didn't give us any water. You need to expose this. They didn't pick any of us. It was all a joke. They are infamous for this. They do these huge auditions. If they set, if the cast is ten or twelve, they might already have nine people signed. It's a joke. Mm-hmm. Some of the people that even walk in, because I think the way, the way it was set up, it looks like Angela White, my girl China. It looked like she's trying to be on. The, she might really be on next season. Right, Mar- uh, Mariah Lynn. Oh, she yeah. was on it. It's like certain people, even when Thunder Girl did it, they were already picked. It's not a real, they know who they want, and they mm. come in with the cast. And then they starting to get into that, do the same thing, follow the uh, formula, and that's mm. what makes things boring because they need to stop doing so many OGs. It needs to be at least half new, half old, you know. I think it's funny. I always say I want to work with them, and you know, a couple of them supposed to go on a podcast or whatever. But Natalie really irritates. She really makes my ass itch. Me too. And the reason why she does is because I watched Natalie on Bad Girls Club when she came out. Me too. Natalie was your ghetto. You have kids. They don't even have dads. I run you live LA. In the, I run. And the <laughs> bitch number one wasn't from LA. And number two, she was a white woman. So now you have this resurgence and you this new girl, and you pushing all this horrible shit for black women. Like it's cool. A baddie, baddie, shot a clock, getting shit faced, drunk till you don't know what the fuck is going on, and you sell lashes. I guess that's what she's telling people to do. But now you tapping into your black. I don't like that. 
I don't like that. And the bitch can't even fight. They set up a fight for her last time. She just just punching couches, cushions, fucking ferns, plants. She put punched everything but the damn girl. And but she, she was, was the scariest one on the back and she club still back is. when she was there. And she still is. But what do you so what do you think about Amber Rose like in the Jocelyn and she saying that Amber Rose identify she doesn't identify as black? Did you know that? Is that um, true? Amber's me and Amber are friendly. Me and Amber are friends. That's my dog. She from Philly. Um, to be honest, I didn't know Amber was black till she told me on the phone. I never knew that. Like I thought Amber was white or whatever. I, did Virgin, right? I, I believe I don't know, Phelps, but I we were on the phone one day and she said something and I said, What bitch? She said, hey, I'm a black woman. So it's like that's my experience with Amber in real life. What you say, Tom? She's K Verdian? She from the picture yeah. for South she Philly, said that, yeah. but I I'm, I'm that. that's what I'm saying to you. Like, yeah, she said that to me on the phone, so, so she that's does what identify. I know. For, but people are doing interviews, and it's like an open thing that I don't know. I feel like the mixed girl struggle. I don't know anything about as much as y'all want me to. I, I'm not mixed. I don't really know that many mixed people. I don't know how that feels. All I know is that in the country of the United States, good U.S. U.S. of A. The minority is the majority. So if you have a drop of Mexican, you're Mexican. You have a drop of black, you're black. You have a drop. Mm-hmm. So that's really what I'm used to. If you're a mixed girl and your mother's white and your father's black and you feel just as much white as you do black, what are you supposed to do? Because black people will shun you for that, for not saying mm-hmm. I'm a black woman and that's it. And it's like, you you know, you they're both your cultures. You can do what the fuck. I mean, but look if at, you're look black, at, you're look black. At, look, at, look, at, look, at, look at the nigga. What's the nigga name with the, with the micros in the, in the Jufro? She's Ooh. transracial. What's that nigga name? You oh, know the Rachel, girl. The little Rachel. Little. Oh, but she, was but she wasn't though, black wasn't she? at all. That, that bitch is whiter than flour. Yeah. But she decided to be a nigga. She worked for the MWACP and she had micros. <laughs> but I don't know why the fuck she got fired. Not. What the fuck's the big deal? She got a black she, god daddy she, and she got cankalon hair. Leave that nigga in there. She getting shit done. <laughs> Now, the problem was is that she made up lies. If y'all know the story, watch that yeah. documentary if you haven't. She, made, she up made up lies and was acting like people was leaving nooses in your mailbox. Bitch, ain't nobody leaving no nooses because they ain't even believe it. And that's what really made it rough. And then she was going out saying she who her parents was. That? Then her real parents came out child looking like they own a Cracker Barrel. She come from that type of white. She white, white. Cracker Barrel white. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I think she did what most white people wish they could do, and that's be black. Her parents look like pilgrims. But continue. And that's what it is. White people, I feel like they have a... A lot of white people, they were angry because they were jealous and envious. So she decided wow. to not tap into the envy. balls on this one. We in a white man's yeah. house. We about to get put the I'm fuck so out. I'm so sorry. I'm tiptoeing around the white talk. I said a lot of different people. You know, no, listen. You know I know. I mean. And you know I know. Because when your friend came around trying to say nigga, you know how I felt. Oh, my. This so, nigga. <laughs> she wanted to get into a full fucking debate at a bar. I'm like, fellas, where did you find this nigga? Had cool out. No, I. One of the reasons why I fell in love with Yeet so fast is when Phelps said he didn't use the N-word. It's refreshing. Mm-hmm. I don't have a problem with Latins using it. Y'all going to chew me up. I don't give a fuck. I'm from North Philly, the land of the Puerto Ricans and the Dominicans. That's how they talk, period. Yeah. And that's how I grew up. So okay. a Puerto Rican girl saying nigga, 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 and a Puerto Rican guy saying nigga, nigga, even when they only date their own race, they don't have, it just always was acceptable for me. That has nothing to do with your black ass being offended by a Spanish person saying nigga, period. And you have your right to say blah, blah, blah. Because what was his response? Shout out to my nigga Moo. Shout out to Scott And Bags. I do love him. He's cool. What was the response? He was saying something about food. So this is he the compared thing. to the food. This is what I told Phelps. From Philly, he was telling me that Philly, like the Spanish people in Philly are you different. From? L.A. Right. So the L.A. people, the L.A. Spanish, my experience, like a lot of them can be also. And I'm sorry because I do love. Yeah, but there's just a few. And Uppity. so it's like, wait a minute. Like black is beloved. Yeah, they, and like they Spanish that's people what it way was. more separated from the from, blacks. Where I'm from, it's a whole war against Mexican and blacks. Yeah. Let's be real. Niggas is killing blacks. Mexicans yeah. is killing. You can't sit with us. Fuck y'all. Yeah. All of this. They're coming for is it. Is that attached to gang culture, though? It is, and it's okay. sometimes not. Yeah. Like, it is, and it's sometimes not. Because that's definitely how the jails are on the West Coast, for sure. Yeah, but even sometimes it's not. Even in school, it's this division. And okay. so you wanted to be in the like in this division, and then you want to say, nigga, nigga, nigga. Right. That's where I feel crazy. Yeah. Because Phelps was saying, where y'all from, if it's, you feel disrespected by it, they're going to respect, like, you know, yeah. it's not going to be like that. I mean, there is also, because you figure, being from North Philly, you got the Badlands, you got Kensington. Kensington is a third world country. Yeah. A white girl from Kensington is a nigga and she yeah. feels like a nigga and she might drop it. So, you know, is it right? I'm not going to front. It's been times where white people would be, I'm talking about nigga white people, yeah. but they've said nigga and I either didn't catch it because they flown with it or I didn't feel like having that debate mm. about it. One place I didn't play that shit was jail. 
Like you couldn't sit around me and use the N word yeah. unless you was chocolate midnight black. I was on some yeah. gangster shit in jail. Watch your mouth. <laughs> I was trying to start a new set of the Panthers. This one yeah, called like the White Panthers. On the, on the East Coast, with Spanish people like we so they come up break the with gang them, up. our neighbors. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We get, we get money together. Like blacks fuck with Spanish women. Spanish niggas fuck with black Jones. It's I, like I will. And then me and folks are from two different sides of town yeah. too, because mm-hmm. North Philly is a little different. In North Philly, you see Puerto Ricans that don't fuck with nobody but Puerto Ricans. Yeah. But that them one, two couple niggas that they fuck with, they invite them in and they teaching them Spanish. They're yeah. not even talking shit about you. Yeah. Funny. They're trying to teach you the language. Oh, yeah. But it is that disconnect too in Philadelphia where, first of all, in Philly, if you were to call a Colombian Puerto Rican, they probably spit on you. It's like so Colombians feel like they're up here. Dominicans feel like they're above Puerto Ricans. Puerto Ricans feel like they're above the Dominicans. Mm-hmm. It's just, at the end of the day, to me, it's nonsense. And it's a waste of time. It's us and them. It's not even a white black thing anymore. It is the ninety nine percent of people out here struggling, trying to work, trying to thrive, yeah. and it's the one yeah. percent that are super rich, that are beyond selfish. They don't give a fuck about nothing. That's really what it is. Mm-hmm. All, I agree. all of it is really kind of a waste of time and a distraction. But um, I feel like that is it's 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 you internally. If it bothers you, say something. And you just like bitch. You ain't biting your motherfucking tongue. So it ain't even like I'm telling you to say and something. I said something. Say he something was like, anyway. okay, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Hold it down. Um, we do a segment on this podcast. I know it's stuff I want to talk about, but I'm forgetting, but whatever. Um, we do a segment on this podcast. So have you ever watched a podcast? I, of course. Absolutely. Good answer. Um <laughs> Don't do that what's the name me. of your podcast? Unqualified as fuck. AKA million dollar holla. <laughs> I'll get millions of views. Um, check her out. But um, we do a segment, of, of, as you know, called The Dark Side of the DM, where we go on our DMs and we get something a little Spicy. whatever. Do you have one today for us? <sighs> Let me look. Because they be, listen, right now all they doing is dragging me for Phil. <laughs> well, while <laughs> you looking Instagram. for yours, I'm going to read one I got. Hey, okay. Mona, I love your show. I just found out I was missing. I was a missing person, and my birth mother wants to meet me next week. The only problem is she still sees me at the missing four-year-old little girl. She recently bought me 4T clothing and Care Bears. She is also jealous of my current mother and expects me to move to her. I'm 26 and I have a four-year-old, and she is also mad that I don't allow my son to call her grandma. My question is, do you think I should wait to meet her until she sees me as an adult and respect that I don't know her that well to have my son call her grandma? This is that's a kinky-ass yeah, story, and why the fuck did you bring it to me? Listen, I be playing with this damn shit. Like, y'all getting to me. <laughs> this is therapy shit. This is pastor. You got the actual pastor, the clergy in your life. What's going on? You know? This is deep. I'm going to say your mom probably throw, because she bought you 14 clothes and Care Bears. I'm going to say she's probably a little, what's wrong with FaceTime? We propped this phone up. It's like you here, mom. I think that, I don't know why you let, letting your son call her grandma. I don't know what the thing. I guess she don't want to confuse your son. Because I'm like, bitch, if you tell me my kid's cute, in the supermarket twice and you'll watch them, I'm like, call her grandma. That's your name. <laughs> that's my thing. My kids got eight grandmas apiece. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? Fuck that. This motherfucker gonna watch you. Say grandma. Say. Here goes Smush. I'm not related to them. <laughs> <laughs> They're not a part of my family. <laughs> call my dad. That's my dad, mommy. I'm not related to them. That's Smush every time. Um, But yeah, baby love, this is a crazy story and I have questions. So if when you see this, bring me more information. You are a missing person. Why didn't they lock your mom up? Your new mom. Did she steal you? Who stole you from the first place? Mm-hmm, Why didn't your mother find you? Did she even look? Did the bitch even try? Did she yeah, just go back to bed? There's so many questions with that. So many questions. Can you imagine your mom lost you at 2 p.m. and then went to bed that night and let it go? Well, well I'm going to let Jesus work it out. Now you 26, and I want to talk to you by your care bear. <laughs> Ask that bitch to pay your rent. She going to stop speaking to you. All right, you ready? Listen, so on my, you know how on my clip that went viral, I was talking about we need a blueprint for these niggas, boo de boo. So a nigga gonna come into my DM saying, although you need a blueprint. Wait, pause. What did you mean by you need a blueprint for niggas? Okay, I said on the, the, the clip, I said, we give the blueprint to y'all. Like, you know, every girl posts on Instagram, come pick me up at 9 p.m. Just tell me where we're going. Mm-hmm. Blah, 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 blah. Like, how many things do you see every day about a bitch give me flowers for no reason? We say everything we want, and y'all niggas still don't do it. Not a piece of Not it. Not a piece of it. If it's a checklist, you don't even write your name down, nigga. Okay. Not a piece of it. And so they're dragging me talking about, well, no one wants to date you because you're a fat, ugly, masculine oh bitch. My God. 
and you'll never get a date in a man. This is what they're telling me every day, baby. Wow. Nah, I was gonna say the memes wasn't true. That was crazy. The what? <laughs> the memes don't be true. That that motherfuckers be posting like that. But what she's why? saying is but it's just a lot of information that y'all could get available. on how to school a woman. But I will say, it's clear to me that that's not enough. Or like how folks <laughs> say it don't be true. Be, or they might think that it's not true even the whole time. Some of them are to the T true. But yeah. Yeah. I think the issue is, because I have a lot of male friends that ask me, what should I do? Or how do I get her attention? Okay. So either them niggas are looking like this. Because we different. We look at stuff. Yeah. We look into stuff. Either these niggas is looking like this uh-huh. and not paying attention. Or when they see it, they think, oh, that's bullshit. The whole time is true. Fellas, oh, for you to pick up a girl that you just met. And you say, hey, are you free? I want to spend some time with you or whatever. And you plan that day out. You might end up with your dick suck, even for, for the sure. cheap date. But the fact that you didn't ask her where to go, for you didn't sure. ask her what to eat, you didn't ask her, and you knew already, oh, I want to show you this food because this is my favorite. I want to expose you to something different. I want to take you this restaurant because I want to show you this area. That is how you get a bitch, okay? Hello. You, rule number 73, and it should be rule number one. Act like you ain't think about the pussy. That'll get you fucked. Hello. That was the, this like, is the me. blueprint. Do you hear me? That, the oh, la- the last part was like accurate. Everything me. else. No. What Mona said is the up. realest shit. Yeah, at the end. No, it's I, the I, blueprint. He's making a note. The end, yeah, no, we, the we, end yeah, is only. Because you What's know what? I, what One thing I've been thinking about lately is. Because, you know, motherfuckers are always talking about the battle, the sexist dating world and all that, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's like, women, a, a man can't be indecisive, right? Even though we going to pay for everything, why Why can't, what's wrong with us being indecisive? Why is that such a thing for y'all? But wait, let me finish. Uh, because on the, on the other hand, as a, as a man, women will invite us out, but then we pay. What? What is that? <laughs> Wait a minute. Well, that jump quick. I don't know how we got to that one. To that one, because it's like you. Okay, y'all want us to have all of this shit planned out and, and do all of this and da da da, but y'all don't plan shit out for us. Y'all will y'all y'all will ask us to go or y'all will ask us to go out on one little thing, but then we still got to come out of pocket for it. So why, when we indecisive and we paying anyway, that y'all just all of a sudden all the way turned off because we can't make a decision? The thing about it's not it's not so much the indecisiveness. What it is is when you're a woman and you got to think it's different stages. So I'm talking about in the beginning. You just meeting this girl. You're trying to get her. Okay, I'm just making it clear for everybody that that's what I mean. Um... It's refreshing because what we get is, can mm-hmm. I have your number? And then we get, what you doing? Where you at? Did you like it? What you doing? Where you at? Did How's you your like day? It? What you doing? How's <laughs> yeah. your day? So it's so repetitive that that part is almost necessary for you to look like something other than a, a robot. You know what I mean? It's more a refreshing thing in comparison to every single fucking date we go on is the same. What do you want to eat? What do you want to do? It gives you the thought of, he don't know me. He's not listening to what I said. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know anything about me when he tries to talk to me. That's like if you meet me and you watch my shit, you might know that I like documentaries. So you might literally take me to a filming of some documentary that's coming out. Now I know you know what I like. You put that much effort in to show me that we're going to do something that I know that you like to do. And are you sucking that dick? I'm fucking you. Yes. In the car. But it's like. Period. Because. And. and, because if, the five, if I went on five dates that year, he's the only guy that did that, that thought about something or even Thank knew. you. It feels like you're just trying to fuck me. Thank and you. And you're willing to buy me a meal to get there, and we're just going to get that part done. And especially, hurry it up. And hurry it up, especially eat. when it wasn't even anything on your part to even say, well, these are the three restaurants I like if you want to try them. Because I heard you say you like sushi. That's really what it more is. I agree. It makes us feel like you like but us. But you literally just said, we just getting to know each other, but you know that I like. That's hard for no, me to but, just get to know you and already have to know what you like all the way. No, but it's let not me even say that you this. have to, though. It's not you could say you something to. like, what kind of foods do you like? And then you could Instead say, of what this, you doing? This, this, this. Yeah. Where you at? What and you ask doing? those questions and then be like, yo. And all I said was set up a few dates. That's it. Niggas mm-hmm. could do that three times and yeah. a bitch is ready to fuck. Yeah. Probably on the first night. Yeah. Because like you said, it's rare that a man is going to be like, yo, this, you know, what do you like? You like documentaries? I know you, yeah. you know, you fuck and with that. And it's 50-50 yeah. with the women. You either going to meet a woman that knows exactly the type of date she wants. She going to tell you that. Yeah. Or you going to meet a, I don't care. 
don't yeah. care what we do. It's 50-50. Yeah. Most of the time, women gonna have that date already planned out. She about to take you where she took the last nigga because she likes the food and she likes top golf and she likes the vibe. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like that's really that's, that's really all it is. It's, it's nothing wrong. I just feel like y'all give Nick like, like y'all want niggas to have every like that's I don't know. How is that everything though? Because I feel like that's just a little courting a few times because in my opinion, courting. a man courting peep courting, courting that's it, and a man will do. All of like a little bit of courting, and the next episode, a woman's giving up her check and all type of shit. Yeah. Like we give up everything. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, let me enjoy it before I start giving my whole body y'all away. At, I'm stressed nothing out. Y'all saying is wrong. I got BV. But like I feel, no, nothing y'all saying is wrong, but y'all not taking into account who the man could be. The nigga could be an introvert. He could have anxiety. He could don't all the same for Charlie. This is crazy. <laughs> it's he niggas that don't like being outside Felt around anxiety, people. Baby. It's niggas that oh, you see every all oh, every nigga in the room like it. Like it's uh, y'all feel that all y'all. But even if he had, listen, I every don't man give is a different. Fuck. Every every nigga don't want, like 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 for instance, a man can love you to death. That don't mean he want to go outside on the night, hit the town with his arm around you, have to defend you against fifty niggas just because that's what you want to do. That don't necessarily mean what he want to do. So he gonna say, "Let me ask her." Okay, all right. That's what I'm saying. Y'all just automatically assume a nigga want to be out skipping it. Nah, every nigga don't. That's not every nigga's mo to be out. I don't even think it's a one. Like for me, it's like. Yep. That's you showing me you like me, that you're doing things that you think that I like to do. Or even even if you assume, like, I think a guy would easily assume that top golf is a great date. Or, you know what I mean? Even if you assume that, it's still cool that you brought it to me versus trying to make me. Because you tried to talk to me. So it's like if you try to talk to me, then you bring it like that. You know what I mean? Like that may, for For a lot of women... It's just like it makes it's a certain amount of it makes you feel special to a certain extent and it makes it definitely makes you stand out if she's in that phase of her life where she's going on dates. Cause out of ten dates, yeah, maybe two have a plan for you or what they think. But that's the whole thing about when you like somebody when you're in a relationship. You do things you don't like to do, you don't want to do. And me, you got anxiety, Daddy. Even if you brought me to the crib and you ordered the food that I and like cook, and watch, oh God Come forbid you now. find me some fish, I will fuck you. Listen, yeah. now I, the crib um, is a date. For why we for but us? You you might be one of them niggas in the comments. The way you get it mad, you made some. You fake won't pages. never see me in the comments. You made some fake pages. Nah, no, just go, kidding. Because you upset. Yeah. So you're really, no, because I'm really concerned. The, the thing is, I'm be I'm be honest passionate. with you. I'm be honest with you. I don't be going through like the, like all this shit. I'm I don't be in them niggas, but I. At the end of the day, I also, too, is like, y'all got to cut some certain niggas some slack. That's what I'm saying. Y'all but, blocking your own blessings. But I feel Listen, like man. we are cutting slack, and it is. And sometimes you No, no. At this y'all age. Y'all don't cut slack. Y'all just pick wrong. No, at this age, at this age right now, for me, it's no slack being cut. Like, if I was to meet a guy. Y'all any, just great at picking. That's any all. any guys that um <laughs> any guys that come to me now, is no slack being Thank cut. Thank you. Like, you have to. Just... And that's because. I know what I don't want now, for real, you know? And mm-hmm. it's like, I ain't even going to play with you. First red flag, you're done. You know what I'm saying? That's why you can't get past the dick pic with me. Because it's like, you moving too quick. You acting too thirsty. Especially with what I do now. Oh, yeah. fuck no. The bar is set high because it's high for myself. I get I what that. I want. I do what I want. I spend whatever amount of money on myself as I want. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I want to treat myself amazed. I want to treat myself shitty. I am in control of that. Don't nobody take care of me. None of that. So right now, no slack with a nigga. If you giving me vibes that you don't really like me or you half ass like me or any of that, no, you out of there. And you got to know about me. And you know that because remember that DM stuck out to me so much because he said Tabitha, it, that's what got that nigga DM back. Because it was like, Because oh, he said you. something specific about you? Something specific about me. See? That let me, led me to believe that he had watched my shit enough when he said, I really like you. It wasn't a clip. I mean, being funny, you didn't watch my shit. You are tuned into my shit. If, Which, every, everybody say that. When they mean, oh, I watch all your stuff. And they don't know shit, but why you being But that's me? real. If I wanted to date Mona, I would get the pussy the same night. Because yeah. I'm watching everything. I'm referencing I'm it. I'm easy. I'm you know, all of Cause that. Because I got so much content out. Average girl, you might not know. No, but you it's could not take the same. effort. Instead of saying, yeah. It's simple. Instead of saying, where you at? What you doing? Oh, I just did this. What do you think about this? I mean, it's real, real simple. You know what I mean? I don't know what's. I don't know what's wrong with. I you. don't know what the problem. Two weeks is. from now, even with your Y'all clip, I don't know why. Telling me about this. myself, I'm tired of you. Go ahead. Dog. I'm gonna talk shit, but I mean, seriously, no real shit, folks. I was, I was like, um. 
what's that called? Smitten by that. Like nobody ever did that. And I thought that was so cute because I've been doing this for years. And I've had all kind of men say they love my shit. Even when I work with people, they'll say they love, and they don't know nothing. They might have seen a little bit, but they don't really know. You know what I mean? So that's refreshing from a bitch at this point that you really know my stuff when you tell me you know it versus you just trying to talk to the girl you think is famous, you think is popping yeah, or whatever. Yeah, like you really invested and you fuck with me. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. But I don't know. Um the dating scene is full of piss, so you know. Good luck to you, bitches, because I don't know. I think I'm a. I went on seeking arrangements the other day. Can you have casual sex and really not fall? I've never for a done nigga? it before. I can't either. I've n- I, I don't know if I can, but I've never done it. I try. I would like to. I'm aspiring to. No, I'm I tried. To I fall in love. Tonight. Message me. You. <laughs> um. Did you find a DM? I thought I did. Oh, you did? I guess you said somebody called you a No, because what I was saying is someone said, although you need a blueprint to a treadmill. Oh, right. Oh, God. For real. You're really aggressive, and I want to know if you're down to fuck me in the ass. This This lady is is super fucking attractive. I get that a lot, too. Can you fuck me in the butt? I get that a lot. Am I giving manly? Just keep it real, Mona. No. No. But to be honest, if you you was, I wouldn't tell you to your face. But you're not. See, but I don't like I'm that. telling you, you can't trust what I'm saying, but you, you can't I think trust you're a bad it, bitch. So what? True, because if you was ugly shit, I'd be like, girl, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. <laughs> you're I'm not good at that. I'm not good at like being, people think I'm blunt. I'm not that blunt. Like, like the bitch I was arguing on Instagram with, hideous. Uncle Elroy. <laughs> but I think you're attractive. I don't know. I don't see men at all. I don't get it. I think that, like, for me being a woman on here, some men hate me just because I represent independence. I represent saying what you want. Some men think that women should be in the kitchen barefoot pregnant. So a person like me, I'm never going to get across to anybody. And it's where the weirdest part about it is I'm super old school submissive. Bring you your plate. Pick your plate up. I damn near wipe your face. I me mean, too. really. Don't I, Phelps? Mm-hmm. Are you thirsty? Are you hungry? I take care of my people. That's but just you how give I that. Men. I could see that with you, though. I don't I'm not know why about these that. niggas think I get a man, punch him in the face, and suck his dick. That's what they think. People DM me all the time, but I beat you the fuck up, bitch. Then we can go on slossing. <laughs> oh, mama, stop. I, I only attract aggression, bro. I remember meeting a guy. The guy I always talk about, because we dated for 30 days and it was the worst 30 days of my life. He would punch me in the arm like, shut up, nigga. Like I was his bro. No. Nigga, you just gave me a frog. I should call the fucking police. And we did it one time. We did it to me real hard like this. It hurt because dick was tiny. He beat me up with pelvic bones. That's them niggas that watch your content. I'm done. I ain't fucking <laughs> nobody. I'm not. If you know who I am, you it's fucked over. up. Shut up. I said that I, love real fast to go past it. His butt stone. I tell that story all the time. When we first met, we was outside for like 24 hours, 30 hours together, and then I feel like he had a real little dick, but he wanted me to see it because I'm open about liking little dicks. Was he bigger? He has a tiny dick, and he was like a little bit chubby. He was furry like a bear. He was like a little bear. It was like a little waxed. furry bear. It was fuck no, he wasn't waxed. He was hairy as fuck. But he walked past real fast, and I smelled his butt. He was on the way to the shower, but I smelled butt. No cat. His butt stone. And you that. fucked with him after that? Like, come on, bro. <laughs> I want to shit on my parade. <laughs> I'm sorry, mother. He was getting in the shower, though. He did. You made him like, shower before he, everything. Bro, the, the bathroom here is huge. You can get dressed right there. You purposely get dressed all the way next to me with this lamp. Strip butt naked. I'm going to jump in the tub, bro. Wasn't me to look at it because he didn't want to bring it out on Showtime. You know what I mean? Like, let me show this bitch I got baby dick. Uh, yeah, I'm about to be in the tub, bro. So, when you so like you baby dick, punch. you are a fan of, you I like prefer a fetish? small dick. I'm the, type of, I'm the type of person, if I'm talking to you, we're in that courting stage, I'm, I will ask for a dick pic. If you have 10 inches of dick, it's over. I can't ten, do no big dick. But I'm saying you like a small dick because I like a medium, regular dick. I mean, medium is cool. I don't care. And it, it can't be over seven. No bullshit. I'm not with that. It hurts. It's not. I'm yeah, not even going to gamble it. Like, it it's going to hurt. I don't feel like that shit. Um, do we have a voicemail, fellas? Yeah. Or I'm playing it. You bitches, we 50 minutes in. Are you happy now? Maybe I should get a fucking sleeping bag and leave my children. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have a life. I should just podcast 24-7. Is that what you want? Stop asking for longer episodes before I make these motherfuckers 15 minutes. Or shout out 19 keys Hey, Mona. Um, so I have a question for you. I like this guy. He is Muslim, and he treats me well. Every time we go out, he always pays for everything. Um, and he's a good, you know, partner candidate. The thing is, because he's Muslim, he doesn't eat pork and he doesn't drink. So I feel like it can be very annoying when we go out sometimes. And because he's paying for everything, he feels like, you know, I shouldn't drink 
if he's paying for it and I shouldn't order anything that contains pork products in it, which I respect. But I just feel like that really gets on my nerves and it's really bothersome for me. So I don't know. It's like, do I deal with the guy mm-hmm. because, you know, he's cool, like him? Um, That's a good question. There's a couple of different answers I have. Number one. Um, I'm Muslim and all my non-Muslim friends out, they went and ordered pork to the table. So I don't know if it was like a respect thing. It was a time in my life where I would ask you not to, even if I wasn't buying it. I don't want to smell it. I want to be around it. It never was really a problem. Any guy I ever dated, please don't drag me Muslims. I didn't had a couple. <laughs> that wasn't Muslim. They, they couldn't eat it around me at all. Cause it's yeah. like, we're not going to kiss oh, after yeah. that. We're not going to, um, the fact that he won't buy it is weird to me because why are you dating a non-Muslim if that's what you want? Yeah. Um, in our religion, we don't date. You get married. Mm-hmm. A Muslim man can marry a Christian woman. He can marry a Jew. Mm-hmm. As long as his wife believes in one God and she doesn't worship other things, mm-hmm. a Muslim man could date a non-Muslim. In our religion, in the culture... Men run the household. So the idea is if a Muslim man is married to his woman as a Christian, she can't bring Christmas tree because he's in charge mm-hmm. anyway. She can't cook with him because he's in charge anyway. Okay. Muslim women are not supposed to date outside of Islam. You have to date Muslims. Oh. Not Excuse me. We don't date at all, but you have to marry a Muslim man. So, number one, I think that's strange. That makes me think something's wrong with him or he's trying to... Um, trying to bring her home. He might be trying to like teach you yeah. eventually or have you convert and that's something that he needs to talk about in the beginning. I remember me and my son's dad first started like dating and stuff mm-hmm. like that. He made it known he was going to take a shahada. He was about to take a shahada. I want to tell him we can't get married without taking a shahada. I ain't even give him no cat until he took a shahada to keep it real. And I got that loud pussy. You know what I mean? Excuse me, please. All the Muslims, I apologize. Because um, a saint is just a sinner who fell down. She just about she and then dirty. got up. That's crazy, right, Gary? What are you doing? Why? What did I do to you? I ain't do that. You just said it, dude. Like, but what did I do? Why are you on me? Like, bro, what the, where's the monk? You on my ass. I didn't do shit to you. I hate I'm when you get like this, but I didn't do it. Get that bitch the blues. You ain't seen her. Why give it to her? Has she gotten it? Have you gave her the blues yet? Yeah, yeah. actually. Give it, give it, give it, give it. Um, he threw me off. What was I saying? But yeah, so that's strange to me because I feel like if he likes you and he's accepting to you and you want to eat ham hocks, I don't get what's the big deal for him, with him paying it, even though I know he's never going to buy it for you. Because at first when you were saying it's annoying that he doesn't drink, so I thought maybe you were out key and he was going to be mad because he wasn't drunk. No, it's annoying because you can't get a margarita because this nigga's not going to buy it. And that's crazy. Mm-hmm. So I think that you're smart to even be in the beginning already thinking, I don't know if this is going to work for me. So many times women, we see exactly what it is and then we assume we're going to change it, we're going to flip it, we're going to turn it, then three years down the line, you still bitching because he won't buy you a margarita and y'all got separate chairs. <laughs> Um, That's a fact. I would stay away from the Muslim men, period. Muslim men are going to give you that hawk. You might have a you fuck with a Muslim man. You might leave with a chemo on, sis. <laughs> All right, Naima. Any advice? I would say that look at everything for what it is. Like, you can't change anybody. So, if this is who he is, he's clearly trying to change you. Something. So, you either got to accept the fact that this is who you're with and come to terms with it. Or keep it pushing. Baby. Because like you said, we be trying to change people. Man. And you know how hard it is to change yourself? I want to wake up at 5 a.m. every day. Child, that listen. That shit don't happen. I think that's the silliest thing we do as women. We will mm-hmm. literally meet a fucking tin man and try to build this nigga heart. Meet a scarecrow. And we will take this nigga to a bonfire. It just don't make no sense. <laughs> this nigga going to burn up. You meet a <laughs> demon and you just like, I mean, for love of God, these girls be Bragging about dating killers and shit. Bitch, you are going to be his eighth body. Okay. He 23 with eight bodies. He going to kill you next. Tell that nigga you ain't going to give him no cash at money. Well, it's been real. Um, Manifesting. I'm manifesting slimness. I'm going to keep manifesting until it fucking happens. I mean, it's either that or I give up. You're slimming down. You got to keep going. You yeah. are slimming down. You look good as fuck. Really Hello. appreciate that. What are you manifesting, Azar? I'm manifesting abundance. Okay. In okay. all aspects. Wow. That's a D. That's an L.A. answer. That's some L.A. And ass how shit. How is it an L.A. shit? <laughs> I'm manifesting abundance, cuz, on the dead homies. Cuz. That's on crit. Yeah, on, on rolling 60s, cuz. Do you have anything? Uh, I manifest. I need to gain some weight. 
Okay, in the monk, bring the monk back because we liked him. Let's do a fat yeah. transfer from you to him. <laughs> <laughs> we and my good buddy. If Fels works out for thirty days, he get like, but he automatically get to walking like <laughs> just buff nigga. He's shit. very like cut up, uh-huh. like a bag of dope. That's what they said. Phelps is cut up like a bag of kids and dope. I took a picture of him at the pool in Miami that year. Um, so yeah, this episode again is dated to Big Toe. I call you two. I call you Big Toe because. You only had your two big toes painted, not the other eight. <laughs> that nigga was at the salon and said, just paint my big toe. I'm going to paint oh, she, the other ones yo, at the crib. She's oh, yeah. I'm talking about. <laughs> Maybe we could put her picture, her feet right here. Is I that legal? So Tom, done. can I put her feet right here? Nah, we're not doing none of that. Scratch it. Thanks for joining in. Next time you see me, I'm going to still be in L.A. because I'm an L.A. ass bitch now. L.A. Mona. Get into Last it. time, you know, they called me a devil worshiper child. The people out L.A. got her already. Y'all so fucking stupid. And shout out to my niggas, man. Shout out to the, everybody from the 85 South Show crew. They are family. Shout out to my them. My nigga Carlos, D.C. Young Fly, motherfucking Chico Bean, my nigga Ryan. Everybody shout out to over their there. staff, too. They yeah, dropped yeah. on Netflix, and they went number one. These motherfuckers, groundbreaking, game-changing shit. And you never hate on niggas like that, because once they do it, it opens up the lane for us all to do it. Thank you, niggas, and we proud of you, motherfuckers. Facts. Congratulations, niggas. You could call me back, Carlos. You holler Hollywood already, nigga. And never mind. I ain't gonna tell you me. Hollywood already, little head. You forgot about me, the kid. I gained a little weight, but it's still me, nigga. Call me. I love you. Stay black. Zoom in on my fist. <laughs>